So, hey everyone, welcome back to another one. And in this one, we'll try to make this collage animation type of animation. So right now I'm in my Fusion page and again, I'm using this kind of workspace. You can do that coming to workspace, layout presets, Fusion presets and choosing it. Now I just have my media out one node here, okay, which index it to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this photo real quick. And let me show this to you. So I have this sort of photo, okay. So first things first, I have to remove the background. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly take this polygon and put it over here. I'll zoom in with control mouse wheel and start adding some points okay and if i hold and drag these points so i can even make them a little bit curvier something like this and if i again want to change it from like this is right now smooth from smooth to linear so i can click here and click on this again do shift l so something like this okay so let me quickly just mask it out and see you just after a bit And once you are completed with it, so you can connect your polygon mask to this. And yes, you can see we have our car. After this, I'll just copy this with control C and paste it over here with control V. And now let me grab my ellipse mask from this toolbar. If you don't have this toolbar enabled, you'll go to fusion, check show toolbar and right click here and choose default. You will have the same toolbar which I have. So just really quickly, I'll just take this ellipse mask, put it over here and let's see. What do we want to mask out? So right now, I'll just not put it over here. You can make it. Sorry for the background noise. Again, I can't do anything about it. But to make it smaller, you can just come here. Uh, all these corners and make it smaller. If you have your show view controls on in the inspector of this node. So something like this. And also you can change its position. You can see center X, Y values are also changing. That is what we want. So. You know something like this you can even increase the width like this i'll not do that because we'll be animating it so something like this we just want to cut out of it then likewise control c so what i'll do is now we have the tire cut out and also this okay after this shift a space bar and i'll type bg just like this and right now what is happening is this background is on top of that image which we don't want we want the opposite of it so i'll go to merge and control t i'll just go to this background and make it like this something like this okay looking great now also i'll do one thing take the output of it from here and attach it to this output so that we have something like this and you can see we have our car so what we will do is after this merge i'll type xf you know to increase the size of it a little bit so maybe something like so is fine and in fact what we can do is we can change the background to maybe yellow white and make the alpha to one you know maybe something like this this looks good to me i don't know maybe yellowish creamish whatever so yeah something like this and one more thing in this media in one uh add a transform okay and copy this control c paste it control v now take the output of it now we have two transform first one is for this one and second one will be let me just first attach it now we need to attach this also so what we will do is again emerge so something like this maybe let me just bring this here and now we can see where you want to put our tire main thing is we want to rotate it so what i'll do is after this transform i'll add another transform and in this transform we'll change its pivot point changing its pivot point or something like this so now if we rotate it it should it perfectly fine little bit of uh you know mismatching should be fine one more thing which you can do is we can add a mask to this uh media so after this ellipse what i'll do is i will add one more polygon so something like yeah this polygon and here in paint mode instead of merge make subtract 
make it something like this then this you know just to take this tire out from here and then join it so something like this what if i take this polygon from here and attach it to this yeah so it's working and now come here and just choose invert and i think we will be good to go if i do control f if i do fit and single viewer again yeah it is working now we can manipulate it a bit more if we want to so bring it somewhere around here just like this this one over here you know try to manipulate it as much as you can so that you get a perfect nice looking mask now even if i come here in this transform and rotate its angle it will not be uh you know coming above this car because we have masked it out so that is great and same way we need to add another transform so control c control v just reset it and in this one again changing the pivot so bring this pivot to the center of this tire so that when we rotate it it should be not any perfectly fine that is super cool uh select these both two pin any of them doesn't matter i'll just open both of these and now in angle i'll do equals to do one and attach this angle to this one and now if i change transform to which means this one if i change its angle if i just unpin this again bring this both of these will move simultaneously which is super super great and which is what we want eventually and now come to the first keyframe add a keyframe here and how much do you want i want two rotations so i will type 720 and i think 720 will be good so let me see media out i think it's a little bit slower so what i'll do is i'll do 720 into 2 which is be 14 which is 14 40 so that means it is moving at quite fast and that is great okay and one more thing after this another bc for brightness and contrast i'll reduce the saturation to zero after this you can add a glow if you want okay just for your own purposes i'm not suggesting you that you have to do this again but again it just depends if you want to do it then you can i just like adding glow to stuff so maybe reduce the blend a bit it is again to something like this so that it's a little bit softer and now here close size to 50 increase threshold so and again reducing the gain to something like this yeah looking nice after this add a nice uh, prism blur and reduce the blur strain to zero ablation strain to one reduce your like increase the ablation distance now I want to add some reflections to to the body so for that and also uh, add a stop motion after this to be like five ink uh, reduce this frame repeat to two i think that is reflections so after this transform what we will do is so we have this right yeah we have this uh after this we need to add some reflection so again f in for fast noise just really quickly bring it. and we'll mask this fast noise so first of all let me choose gradient and here yeah it's the same so it doesn't matter increase the contrast uh reduce the detail to maybe i think one was fine one increase the scale obviously so something like this don't increase the contrast it was fine before and in color you yeah, choose gradient and make it something like this yeah pure hard reflections and now we need to just yeah we need to just make it like this so for that again what i'll do is i like you can come here and add a keyframe then come to the last frame you know and make it like zero and now if we'll play so you'll have something like this 
and now what you can do is you can take this transform i mean not a transform transform but the brightness contrast and then i'll add this transform after this so what i'm doing is i'm holding shift to take it out and again to put it in so now we have something like this and again we also don't want uh, this to be affected by the tires like i don't want reflections on tires so for that and then take both these two and then we can put it after this like i don't have any issue so we can just simply put it like this yep that is great uh and then let's see what is happening okay so we have something like this we can also merge this mask this out now it should work and in the merge what i'll do is i will uh, reduce the blend so something like something like 0.75 should work for us yeah looking at it and we can also displace it but right now i'm just not focusing on all that so 10 5 is working great i mean not 5 but at least 2 and also we'll just reduce it to 0.5 yeah something like this superb and in this brightness contrast we'll not make it like super dark so we'll make it something like 0.25 this is also looking great uh one more thing in this brightness contrast what we'll do is we will increase contrast a little bit and reduce the brightness a little bit and then increase the scale a bit more something like this and then make it 10 yeah that is fine oh near of p drop shadow just like this okay so yeah i just want to remove this from here and put it after brightness contrast just like this and this is looking super great i will uh, reduce the drop distance increase the drop strength maybe drop distance just a little bit blur it out a lot and i'll add a bg here simple bg uh maybe we can you know make a little colorful too something like this and one more thing we can take all this like we can take the background and add it after all of it so this will also work and again control t oh yeah something like this uh yeah after this we can add another background because now this background again control t will be for the alpha part so something like this i mean you can change to any color which you like so maybe i can make it red so something like this you know maybe blue so you can just play with it and whatever you find good will be good to you you know just play with it a little bit more and you will find the best one so it depends i think this was looking super cool peach peachish something like this orangish yellowish whatever so okay we are done with this we now let's just add a little shadow uh before this and one more thing take these two nodes and add it here so yeah okay so prism blur because i like to add prism blur at last because we'll be adding a little bit of vignetting not a lot but just a little bit so maybe 0.2 yeah maybe 0 0.3 0 0.25 was fine and i think this is looking super great now what else what else what else yeah paper effect so for that we need to also now the paper take the output attach to this output so that you'll have another like this yeah so right now we have something like this which looks really ugly again guys sorry for the background i don't mean this at all so i can do it something like this and increase the size a bit so you know it should just cover it 
and now the crazy part mask this out with it so that you have this paper effect okay yeah that is it thank you so much bye bye no just kidding in this now what you can do is uh in apply mode you can change it to maybe multiply see we get that effect and reduce the gain a little bit why i'm not doing the blend because this will just blend out the effect we don't want that we just need it to be like that. Oh, what you can do is you, you can even like try different effects so maybe screen will work out this all will work out you know anything can be working out super great so i can even do this i think multiply was fine so yeah multiply is great actually and that is it see looking super great i don't think there's something else left you can just come here and increase the increase the blend that is it that is the only thing which you can do so 0.75 and you also have some glowiness maybe not 0.75 but 0.6 should work fine Flexions come. you can even uh menu like displays the not displays but warp this so with grid warp after this you can even do some things i will just uh reduce its size to something like this and also the magnet uh size no i want to change the magnet size magnet distance is it yeah so okay mag distance so you can warp it out something like this so you know where there are tires so it should be more like this then this should be like this so something like this and now you can see you have a little bit of warping not much but a little bit and also in this uh, y scale i'll just make it five and make this 10 really quickly you can even increase it more if you want to so 10 2 i think 2 is fine yeah so whatever i think this looks fine let's see the rendered uh, result And that is a wrap for this one i hope that you enjoyed this one because i enjoyed making a lot not a lot but yeah it was fine uh one more thing i'm noticing is we did some mistakes like here you can manipulate the mask a little bit more and then add that mask to the fast noise too okay so that it doesn't cover that and here too we need to like change the mask a little bit so once you will do all these things it will be a little bit better you know Actually, after the render, I was not quite happy. So I did some changes because this was not looking great now, but now it is looking great. So what I did was after this, like here in this fast noise mask. So it was like this before, right? So I changed it. So I just removed this and I just directly take uh, the mask of this polygon and join to merge four. And after that, I created another polygon and in this polygon, if I attach it to this polygon again, you can see what is happening. So I grabbed this and made a mask like this, made a shape and in paint mode, change it to subtract. Same this, uh, same thing with this one. If I hold shift and attach it to this, made a mask like this again and change the paint mode to subtract. And now when you see the render, so it will look something like this. that is it i hope that you will join the discord server because there are a lot of amazing people a lot of amazing thing happening in discord just join the discord link in description and if you want to prefer like the better version obviously not this so it's a description and other things are also in the description so don't forget to check the description but yeah that is it like this video and subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell because there will be some amazing content uploading soon if you have any queries or something to ask or something to type something to say comment section is your way to go thank you so much see you in the next one